Hi there guys, in today's video we're going to be looking at the font tab under the preferences and this will be for flexi print. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.ca.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Now if we're heading to the program here, so if we carry on with our little mini series on the preferences, we're going to be now looking at the fonts tab. So in order to go there, we're going to go main menu, edit, and then preferences. And then with the preferences, we're going to go to the third tab called font. Now under here is a few options, but we'll be first looking at the top one, and this is the path. So this is where fonts are located, but this is for flexi starter the the in-house font so don't mistake this for windows fonts windows fonts will automatically load into the program so if you have those fonts installed you can load it this will just be some extra ones you can always look at the url here copy it and paste it in your web browser and go look at those fonts or what you can do also is you can now select it from your actual font so i'm just going to choose one from there i think it's called wedding so let's go test I'm going to scale this up so you guys can see better and then if i go to our design central tab go here type w you can see here we've got wedding um oh sorry not wedding <laughs> web things so in any case uh so this is a nice way to get nice little shapes in that so this is one of the in-house fonts you can always go through the list look at all the unique ones so you won't find these in other programs because um this is being redirected into the program files of actual flexi print then under the preferences we have two other settings let me just go to the tab wait for it to load okay so now you have this one called password so this will be in case these ones are password protected and then you always have to add your passwords but i think they've discontinued this so it was only relevant for like flexi print 10 or so so this one don't worry about and this one is if you want to make engravings and that and you want to use fonts from uh, flexi or Cas uh, casmate then you'll be using this setting but uh, yeah i would also just don't worry about these two the top one is just good to know where's your url if you want to look at the custom font to come with it and then lastly we have your restore default so if you've actually said something which you shouldn't you can just say restore default and then it will go back to the default for you but yeah otherwise that is it, the fonts pretty straightforward so just a recap this is not your windows fonts this will be uh, fonts that come with flexiprint and it's where they are located but yeah otherwise in the meanwhile though if we head here to software training.co.za you guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover and you can also isolate your search on the top right if you do not however find the training videos you're looking for just simply go here request a training video fill in the mini form and then we'll do our best to try and make that for you. But otherwise, thanks guys for watching and cheers.